Hi everyone, welcome to Zynod's uh, NEET PG 2022 information series. In the previous videos on Kerala PG Medical Counseling, we looked at uh, the application process, the eligibility, and the rules of uh, registration and eligibility for allotment as far as round one, round two, round three, stay vacancy round and the additional stay vacancy round are concerned. In this video, we'll look at the rules and the options for choice filling and upgradation and what is the impact if you are allotted a seat in a particular round and you join or the seat or you don't join the seat and what happens if you join the seat and resign the seat what will be the impact for the next few rounds is what we look at in this video we will look at uh, eligibility related to Kerala further rounds as well as all India further rounds uh, based on the choices that are made by the candidate after allotment. First, as far as state round one is concerned, uh, we know that state round one is fresh choice filling. You will register for the first time. And in case you wish to participate in a Kerala PG Medical Counseling, you will have to register for round one. There's fresh choice filling in round one. What you need to be aware of is that this choices are very important as far as round two choices are concerned. What will be taken up for round two will be based on what choices you fill in round one. You will not be able to add a choice during round two. You will not be able to add a choice which was available in round one and you did not fill in round two. So just keep that in mind and fill in the choices in the order that you wish to take. Uh, in this case, also look at round two on what happens when you are allotted a seat and what are the choices that would be available when we discuss round two at a later point in time in this video. Just keep uh, uh, look at that so that you will be filling your choices uh, in the right order in round one. Upgradation, it is not relevant anyways for round one. What happens if you don't join an allotted seat in round one? You're eligible for All India round two, but you will not be eligible for Kerala round two. You would be eligible for Kerala mop up though, provided you have all other eligibility criteria. So this does not, not joining does not take away your eligibility for Kerala mop up, but it will take away your eligibility for Kerala round two you will not be eligible for Kerala round two if you don't join an allotted round one seat what will be the impact let's say you join the round one seat from Kerala the state seat and then you resign it after joining before the round two so you will not be eligible for Kerala round two again you will be eligible for all India round two if all India round two is yet to happen and you will be eligible for Kerala mop up at a later point in time depending upon further uh, eligibility criteria for Kerala mop up basically this round one non-joining will not take away your eligibility for Kerala mop up you will have to look at other eligibility criteria. So uh, Kerala round two, who will be eligible for Kerala round two? Anybody who was registered in Kerala round one will be eligible for Kerala round two. And in case you have you were allotted and you fall under this category, you have not joined or uh, you resigned after joining, then you will not be eligible for Kerala round two. So uh, when you come into Kerala round two, you would be in one one of these two scenarios. One, you are you are not allotted a seat at all. Two, you were allotted a seat. And you have joined the seat. Only this two set of candidates will be there in Kerala round two among the registered candidates. So uh, what happens is uh, when you uh, are not allotted at all, you will have all the choices listed, but you will not be able to add another choice unless there is a newly added seat. Let's say there is a newly added seat in round two, you will be able to add that seat in round two. But if a choice was available in round one and you do not add it, you will not be able to add it in Kerala round two. This is for not allotted candidates of Kerala round one who are not holding a seat. Let's say you are holding a Kerala round one seat. Then what happens is you would have filled in choices above that particular seat, which are better preferred. Those seats, those choices will be available for you. You will be able to modify, delete, or even change the order of those choices above your allotted choice. But those choices below your allotted choice, which were lesser preferred, those will not be visible and you will not be able to add or modify any other choice or that choice for round two. So basically, let's say you had uh, given 10 choices, you were allotted the fifth choice, then only choice one to four will be available in round two. And you can change the order between one, two, three, four, uh, cho the choices one, two, three, four. And you can also delete a particular choice, let's say choice two, but you will not be able to add any of the choices six to 10 or move them up during round two choice filling. So be aware of that right from the time round one choices are filled, you need to be aware of this. Upgradation possibility, upgradation from Kerala R1 to R2 seat is possible, but you will have to log in and confirm your uh, options. Only then you will be able to upgrade. So let's say you're holding a uh, Kerala round one seat. 
you don't log in at all and don't confirm then in that case your round one seat will be retained your choices will not be processed from for kerala uh, in case you log in and confirm then your better choices uh, higher preferred choices will be processed whatever is there above your whatever was there above your round one choice will be processed in the order you submit for kerala now impact of jo not joining uh, you are uh, if you don't join an allotted seat in this round you are eligible for kerala mop up with four feature of security deposit you will not get your security deposit back the 10k or 5k which is a, which is being paid for the first time you will not get it back this does not impact all india mop up eligibility you will still be whatever whether you are eligible for all india mop up or not will not be impacted by this you can continue to be eligible for all india mop up if you don't hold an all india round two seat or any other state round two seat and uh, if a continue what happens when you resign uh let us say the candidate continues to hold a kerala r1 r2 seat after the last date of r2 admissions basically whether you resign or not you continue to hold a joint kerala r1 seat after the last date of r2 admissions of kerala then you are not eligible for aim up of kerala mop up all this list of candidates who continue to hold a seat after the date of kerala last date of kerala r2 admissions will be sent across to mcc and you that is your final seat you will not be able to eligible for aim up of kerala mop up or any other state mop up let us say you join a particular join the kerala round 2 seat or you hold a kerala round 1 seat and continue and join that if you resign before the kerala mop up notification at any point in time before the kerala mop up notification your security deposit will be forfeited and then you will not be uh, uh, your 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 security deposit will be forfeited but you may be eligible for mop up if resigned after the kerala mop up notification when after the mop up notification comes in you will lose 10 percentage of tu tuition fee and the security deposit will also be whatever you paid which is basically 10k or 5k that will be forfeited kerala round 3 eligibility round 3 is fresh choice filling uh, you will have to fill fresh choices unlike round 2 where your r1 choices are carry for carried forward round 3 you will have to fill right from you will have a blanks uh, blank list when you uh, get in for choice filling you will have to do fresh choice filling upgradation is not possible you can't hold a all india seat state seat so kerala round 2 seat or a seat and upgrade in round 3 mop up you will the, you will not be holding any seat at all when you attend mop up should join uh, impact of not joining after allotment you should join you are expected to join if you don't join security deposit paid and registration fee is forfeited security deposit is a 10k or 5k paid before the mop up you will pay the government tuition fee which may be around 53 to 60 65k or 2 lakhs if it is private and it is forfeited so if you don't join a mop up seat 2 lakhs let's say you have paid 2 lakhs then 2 lakhs plus the 10000 or 5000 paid will be forfeited if you have opted for a government tuition fee you will forfeit the 53 55k or so that you had paid plus the 10k or 5k that you will forfeit if you join don't join the mop up seat most important is if you don't join the mop up seat you are not eligible for any further rounds anything that happens beyond this stray or additional stray institutional vacancy is lost so the opportunity is lost so fill in your choices rightly for kerala mop up what is the penalty applicable so now let's say you join the seat the mop up seat or you hold a mop up seat from earlier rounds if resignation is before the stay vacancy stray vacancy starts the stray vacancy is an extra if the resignation is before the stray vacancy starts the security deposit and registration fee is forfeited what is the security deposit the 10k paid and the registration or 5k paid and the registration fee is the government tuition fee of the 2 lakhs this is forfeited but this is a very uh, important scenario if you any joint seat that you are holding is resigned after stray vacancy process starts the process of stay away can see that let's say the filling uh, notification and filling of choices starts there'll be a deadline which is clearly which will be clearly prescribed if you resign after that date so you uh, you will be uh, paying a penalty of 50 lakhs and you will be debarred for 2 years so keep that in mind make the right decisions the next fourth round is a stay away can see round this could be online or offline but it is conducted by ce that is what is a change in uh, this year's uh, uh, this year's uh, prospectus Uh, there will be no choice filling your mop up choices will be considered for allotment the upgradation is not possible if the candidate has joined any seat any candidate holding a seat is not uh, it is not possible to upgrade if you hold a kerala mop up seat too you are out of the process you will not be able to upgrade uh, what is the penalty for not joining it is the same security deposit paid and registration fee is forfeited and you will not be eligible for further kerala rounds exactly like the previous mop up round what is the penalty if you join a stray vacancy seat or resign any seat that you are held let's say you have a mop up seat you joined it and then resign it 
after the stray vacancy period any time penalty of 50 lakhs is applicable and deed barred for 2 years right so we know that any time after the stray vacancy process starts you are holding a seat and and, uh, and you are going to resign the seat you will pay a penalty the same is the case when you join a stray vacancy seat and then resign the last scenario is the institutional vacancy round there is no choice filling which means the mop up choices will be taken but this is at institutional level so there is some confusion on whether how will mop up choices be taken what happens is kerala will put in the first probable list which is which means the best possible candidate for a particular seat will be put in in case those candidates so which means if you go and go to that institute and you ask for that seat and you are part of the list you will be allotted the seat you have to be provided that particular seat in case the first candidate does not go in there will be a second probable list which is a second list of candidates who are eligible for that particular seat so those lists will be put up based on your mop up choices so it is which is actually like an allotment being run based on the mop up choices and twice one after the other in case the first candidate is not available the second probable list can be taken up so this is sent uh, shared across and based on that your institute level uh, vacancy filling is supposed to happen upgradation is not possible and uh, if the candidate has joined a state seat or an aa seat uh, then uh, you will not be eligible for stray vacancy round it is direct admissions there is no concept of not joining after allotment because you go to the institute provide your certificate and then get allotted and admitted inst uh, at the same time so uh, it is based on the probables list shared and in case the none of them in the probables list one or two probable probable lists are shared and none of them are available the rest of the eligibility list is shared it is supposed to be as per merit based on the rest of the eligibility list list and the candidates who have appeared in the institute on that particular day what if what happens if you resign a, uh, an additional stray, stray vacancy round seat you will have a penalty of 50 lakhs applicable and you will be debarred for 2 years if you resign after this admission uh, so uh, there is uh, so ignore this part uh, uh, basically there is some confusion on what uh, on the list of candidates that would be shared for uh, debarment after round 2 joining for example there is uh, what we are mentioning is that see uh, if a candidate continues to hold a joined r1 or r2 seat after last date of r2 admissions then they are not eligible for uh, further rounds as a mop up or kerala mop up is what the prospectus mentions it does not mention anything about a candidate who joins a kerala r2 seat after allotment and resigns before the last date of r2 admissions they seem to mention that such a candidate will not be sent in the list shared with all india mop up which is against the supreme court uh, guidelines the supreme court has clearly interpreted that once joined that is joined whether you resign or not that doesn't matter this timeline of resignation after joining before the round to admission end date is something that may create a confusion later so don't would suggest not to get into that be very clear at that point on whether to join a seat after state round to or not in case certain other candidates take this up there is highly like it is highly likely that if you had joined that will be your final seat so even if state says whatever is in the prospectus fine so that is for you to decide but that is how last year's interpretation was by the supreme court fine so this is what it is about choice filling allotment and upgradation as far as kerala pg medical is concerned any changes we will always update it on the telegram groups or on our fb pages thanks for uh, watching this video please do share uh, information on uh, zainard with your friends uh, thank you we'll also have other videos on uh, uh, right from applica applicable application uh, form filling eligibility etc please have a look at those videos